Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show how to crochet the step shawl, which is made using a side-by-side -side technique in a series of steps. To do this, I'm using 825 yards of Bernat Baby Sport, which is a DK weight yarn, and a size F crochet hook. As you can see, we're going to start with the one end and increase slowly in steps to get to the middle of the shawl. For row one, begin with a slip knot and then chain four. Skip three chains and make a double crochet in the fourth chain. We're going to open this up and use the double crochet to crochet along. Chain four to begin row two, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Along this double crochet, make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Chain one. Double crochet in that very first chain we made. And here's what the little block looks like. Turn your work. Chain one. For row three, begin with a single crochet in the space. Chain three. And end with a single crochet in the space. Turn your work. We're going to create another block on top of the previous one for row four. So start with the chain four, which is a double crochet and chain one. Then three double crochet stitches in the space. One, two, and three. Chain one. And end with a double crochet in the last stitch. Turn. For row five, chain one. Single crochet in the space. Chain three and single crochet in the last space. Now we have two blocks stacked on top of each other. It's time to increase the number of blocks in a step manner. To do this for row six, we're going to start with the chain four. Then double crochet in the first stitch. We're going to use this space to create another block on this row. Start with a chain four. And make three double crochet stitches in this newly created space. Chain one. In the next space, make three double crochet stitches. Chain one. And end this row with a double crochet. Turn your work. For row seven, it's that single crochet row again. Chain three. Single crochet in the next space. Chain three. And end with a single crochet. Turn your work. We only increase every other block. So since we only have one row of blocks, we just need to make another set on top of these. Start off row eight with a chain four, then three double crochet in the space. Chain one, and three more double crochet in the next space. Chain one, and end with a double crochet in the last stitch.
turn your work. For row nine, chain one, single crochet in the space, chain three, single crochet in the next space, chain three, single crochet in the last space. Turn your work. Now we need to make some decisions. Do we just stack another row of blocks or do we increase? As you can see, we already have two rows of stacked blocks. Therefore, for this next row, we need to do another increase. We're going to repeat rows six through nine again. Start with the increase technique, which is a chain four, then double crochet. This creates a brand new space. Chain four and make three double crochet stitches in this new space. Chain one and three double crochet in each space across separated by a chain one. End with a double crochet in the last stitch. Turn. Chain one and repeat the single crochet row again. Turn your work. Make a decision. Do we stack another set of blocks or do we do an increase? We have to have two blocks on top of each other at the slanted edge. So since we only have one, let's do another row of double crochet that sits on top of the previous row. Continue repeating these four rows, remembering to have the two sets of blocks stacked on top of each other. You can see since we've done the two blocks, it's time for another increase. Make the space with the chain four and double crochet and proceed along. You will continue this process until you have a total of 24 blocks across. So there should be 24 sets of three double crochet stitches across before we've reached the middle of this shawl. Once you've reached the center of the shawl, it is time to start decreasing and will decrease in sets of four rows or you can think of it as two full blocks. After you've made the second double crochet row, on your way back on the single crochet row, we're going to do something different. We're going to stop right before the last set of three double crochet stitches. That's as far as we're going to go. Turn your work. Now do the double crochet row by starting off with the chain four, which counts as a double crochet in a chain one. And then do the three double crochet stitches all in the space. And chain one. You can see how by stopping our single crochet row right before the last set of blocks, we've actually decreased that row. You can see it's much easier to decrease than it is to increase. Once we get to the end of this row, we turn and do our single crochet row back. Now we have to make a decision again. Do we go right to the edge of the last row or do we stop before it? Same as before, we need to do two blocks on top of each other along the edge. So in this case, we continue working until the last space of the previous row. And we begin a new row of double crochet stitches to create that second block. Now 
If you get lost, just look at your increase rows and try to match them just on the other side. So now I'm on the single crochet row again. What do I do? In this case, since I already have two blocks stacked, I want to stop before the last set of double crochet. And then start a new row of double crochet stitches. You can see how this creates another decrease. Continue with this decrease method until you get to a single block on each row. I do happen to like putting the single crochet row as the very last row. It is time to add some fringe if you would like. Taking an old DVD case is useful for creating fringe. If you like a thicker fringe, wrap the yarn around 8 to 10 times. Cut the yarn. Then take it off the case. Use a crochet hook along the chain edges to insert the fringe. Cut the excess off on the bottom. I like a bit thinner fringe, so I only used four wraps around. And that's how I crochet my side to side step shawl. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.